It looks like your toddler meets the criteria for autism spectrum disorder. The use of the term disorder makes me want to ask you if there's some sort of remedy. Ah! No, autism refers to a type of brain and how it develops and functions. That would be like asking if you could turn a mule into a horse. That seems like it might be an offensive analogy. Flip them around. I don't care. I have limited knowledge of animal genealogy. So we should find a way to create an environment that's conducive to their needs. What? No. Here's some therapy they should take to learn some life skills. Welcome to therapy. Here are your pre-approved skills and behaviors necessary to live in our society. But my brain doesn't work like that. Listen, kid. My job is to train you to fit into this world, not the other way around. So while I may give you some genuinely useful skills, I'm also going to take your brain and I'm going to shove it into a box that it's not supposed to fit in. We've just reevaluated your six-year-old again for autism. I can't believe it's been four years already. Looks like they grew out of it. Grew out of their autism, you say? Yes. But the terrible horse mule analogy? Yes. I'm confused. According to this recent study, around a third of toddlers who were diagnosed autistic but received treatment when reevaluated between the ages of five to seven no longer meet the criteria, which we've dubbed non-persistent autism. But you said that you couldn't... Well... You know? No, I don't. But even still, couldn't the way this study was designed simply suggest that the evaluation process is unreliable? Don't you dare suggest that we've made a mistake. Or maybe the treatment just taught them to mask, starting them down a pathway of catering to the world's needs at the expense of their own health, ultimately contributing to the horrific reality that autistic individuals have a 20-year lower life expectancy than their non-autistic counterparts. I'm warning you. The study even highlights that girls and individuals with high IQs comprise the majority of those with non-persistent autism. It's almost like researchers continue to blatantly ignore what the community has been pointing out for decades. Fine. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I bet this is gonna be pretty helpful. The very concept of autism only exists in relation to non-autistic individuals. Autism only exists because non-autistic people perceive it. It's not about how their brain operates, it's about how they behave. Because behavior is something that I can perceive. So as far as we're concerned, squishing out those behaviors at a young age means that we have successfully turned- Please don't say it. A mule into a horse.